So, first thing you guys should be doing when answering any types of volumetric questions is writing out a flow chart of the steps. So you can keep in mind, have there been aliquots? Have there been dilutions? They're the two most important things. Okay, a particular brand of fertiliser contains ammonium sulphate as its only source of nitrogen. The nitrogen content was determined using the following method. Okay, a 2.75 gram sample um, of the fertiliser was weighed and then added to a 200 ml volumetric flask. You've got the sheet full? Yeah. Okay. And it's filled up to the mark with water. A 20 ml aliquot of this solution. Now, where is my... This is exactly what your sack's like. 20 ml aliquot of this solution was then added to a conical flask along with... 100 ml, what does that tell you about the amount of sodium hydroxide we're adding? It's in excess. Guys, back titrations, you're always adding your strong acid or base in excess. Okay, it makes up to a total of 100 120 mils. Whoops, 120 mils. Then what do we do? Take 30 mils aliquot. It's so many things. We then titrate it with HCl. So this is a 30 mil aliquot. We then titrate it with HCl. And then a titra of 3.56 mils. And what's our concentration of HCl? 0.105 M. Okay, calculate the amount of NaOH remaining unreacted after the conversion of NH4 plus to NH3 in the 30 ml solution. How can we do that? Of? says how much is remaining in excess though. No, that would be how much reacted. How can you work out the reactor? You don't, but that's the thing that you want to find in the end. Because the NH4, not all of it, how can you find out the moles of NH4? Were you going to say the mass of your fertilizer divided by the molar mass? Yes. So with the back titration, it's like we have our fertilizer, which is made up of lots of different things. This can only be used to determine the percentage by mass. That mass of your sample is always used at the end. Okay. So we have our fertilizer. It's 2.75 grams. We then take a bit of it, add NaOH in excess, meaning that in the end, what's going to be in here? Okay, we take our fertilizer, right? Mix it with water. We then take a 20 ml aliquot of it, so the moles is less in here. Yes? What does our fertilizer have in it that we're so interested in? NH4 plus. Yeah? We then pop it in there. Yeah? We react it with excess NaOH. What does that mean? Excellent. So in the end, after this reaction has undergone, this top reaction, what are we going to have? Any NH4? No. no. But you're going to have sodium hydroxide left. Or hydroxide's the thing that reacts. Oh, Does it make sense? Equation. That's the ionic equation, oh, yeah. Well, if you wanted to make it the full equation, you'd have <coughs> Na here and then Na plus over here, like we wrote out before. Okay. Then, so we have excess NaOH in here. Then we take an aliquot of that and titrate it with HCl. So in the end, what are we trying to look at in this step? 
how much HCL we've used, but more importantly, how much in our page is in excess. Okay? So the, sorry? I think it said how much NAOH remains, which is which means how much is left. Yeah? So the moles, how can we work out how much is left? Find the moles of HCL, okay? My pen is here. Okay. Moles of HCL. In other words, the moles of we're finding out the moles of HCl required to react with excess NaOH. Does that make sense? The moles of HCl required to react with the excess NaOH equals, how can I work that out? But first of all, the moles of HCl is... CV equals 0.105 times, what's our volume? 0.0056. Excellent. And our moles is 3.74 times 10 to the negative 4. I've just put it in scientific notation. Okay, so this is part A. Okay? Then, how many moles of NaOH is in excess in the 30 mils? Excellent. 1 over 1 equals the moles of HCl equals 3.74 times 10 to the negative 4 mole. So, once you've got that, you just this is the moles of NaOH here. Now, what does part B say? Calculate the amount of sodium hydroxide in mole required. So what are they asking for? Not the amount in excess, but they're asking for the moles. Guys? What are they asking for? The volume of that? The volume of it? The volume? Yes, yes. But what are they asking for in part B though? What are they asking for? The moles that has reacted. Yes? Do you find the moles to point to the original and they Yes. The long way. Okay. In here, how many moles did we put originally? In Initially. Yeah. Uh, Excellent. So CV equals 0.1 times 0.108 equals 0.0108. Happy with that? Now, can I just do the moles of this, sorry, the moles of that initially minus the moles in excess? Simply think about one more step that we did. And this is what only one person in the class got it right. This is why. Because what do we do? We took an aliquot. So this will be the moles in that 30 mils but how many moles is in the original 120 mils, which is where it reacted with the ammonium? Sorry? Times it by four. Times it by four, very good. So you could just do a ratio, exactly. 3.74 times 10 to the negative four mole in 30 mils. X mole in 120 mil. So in other words, times it by 120 over 30, which is 4. 
equals o point, oh no, equals 1.50 times 10 to the negative 3 mole. Now, this is the moles of NaOH in excess in 120 mil. Happy with that? Now, what do I do to work out the amount that has reacted? This is the hardest step in the whole game. <coughs> why is it uh, 120 mil? Why is it just 100 mil? Because we had 20 mils of the fertilizer solution and 100 mils of the sodium hydroxide. So the total volume. No? Uh, if, if you're trying to find the moles in it. Mm. Why is it? I know what you mean. You're like, why are you counting the volume of this? Yeah. Because there is some of the volume of this in there. So as soon as we add that, it dilutes it. Yeah? But I know what you're saying. Okay. So then, the moles of NaOH that reacted with NH4+, how do I work that out? No? How do I work it out? This is the step that Tim was trying to say for the whole time. Excellent. So we've got the moles of NaOH. Initial. Minus the moles of NaOH. Reacted. Equals 0.0108 minus 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3. 9.30 times 10 to the negative 3 mole. Okay, now with your sack, I can suggest, I mean, I can guess that not many people get the actual ratio correct. To make sure you guys get it correct, just look at your ratio beforehand. Do it like a little flow chart like I wrote out today. Give yourself a titra and practice it. Okay, then you come in and you're clear headed and you know what ratio you're looking for. Okay, determine the percentage by mass of nitrogen in the fertilizer. This part's easy, what do we do? The moles of the NH4. And what is it? Yep, it's what we just worked out. So equals 9.3 times 10 to the negative 3 mole. Then it says work out the amount. Percentage by mass. Yeah. So we found out how many moles of NH4 plus were in here. Is that the amount that was originally present in the 2.75 grams? It's smaller. So then what do we do? Times it by 10. So in other words, 20, uh, 200 over 20, right? That was where we got the ratio. Equals 9.30 times 10 to the negative 2 mole. Then final... Oh, actually, before that, determine the percentage by mass of nitrogen in the fertilizer. We have to do the to see how many nitrogens. Well, what's the moles of nitrogen? The same as the moles of ammonia. Yeah. So the moles of nitrogen equals the moles of ammonia because or ammonia because. There's one N and there's four H's. So if you're looking at H's, you would be timesing it by four. Okay, so equals 9.30 times 10 to the negative three. Oh, sorry, negative two. Then what do we do? Work it, how do we work out the mass? Equals 1.30 grams 
Percentage by mass. This part's really easy. Is yep. One point three zero divided by two point seven five times by one hundred equals forty seven point four percent. Now, if you understood that, that's the first time you've done that many ratios. If you even understood that, that's good. Now, with that second example, well, you can tell how many ratios. We take the first, it's pretty much the same. I think it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's okay, because once you've done that and you've done the one at the back, you should be fine. Now, the second one. I can just talk you guys through it, but I think you'll be fine with it. Part D, determine the number of hydrogen atoms. How do you think we might do that? Hydrogen atoms from ammonium. Work out how many nitrogen atoms there are and then times that by four. Oh yeah, that's excellent. It's called 7.4%. Yeah. Okay, so the so determine the number of hydrogen atoms from ammonium. We simply go, fit in 4.5 grams of fertilizer. Ratio. Yes? Because then you'll get your mass and then you can go to moles of ammonium, times that by four, then times it by, to get into atoms, times it by, Avogadro's number. Okay, one more thing is this, I'm going to put the answers up so you can, but one more thing is this errors box. Errors are very confusing with batch titration because you have to think about all of the steps involved. It's much harder than titration. A small amount of the cooled solution, what was the cooled solution? Has everyone located the cooled solution? solution was cool. So what was that looking at? The excess. You've got to think about mathematically what were we trying to work out when we got that last titra. Here, what are we trying to work out in this step? The amount of in excess. So if we tamper with that, it's going to change the results. Now it says a small amount of the NaOH in excess was spilt. This was split. It was spilt. I don't know why it says that. Prior to the titration. So it's too low. So therefore we see the NaOH is less, right? You've got to think about this. That means the moles of NaOH. I swear I had a pen just before. Yeah. That means the moles of NaOH in excess is perceived as lower. Does that make sense? And what will that effect have? Is it? Okay, if it needs less HCl, we can conclude that the moles of NaOH is less. Therefore, less or more reacted. Therefore, more is perceived to react. To react. Therefore, NH4 plus higher than what it actually is. See how this is the confusing part of the back titration? The backwards part. First one. So first one is too high. Second one, the bureau is rinsed with water before adding HCl. What effect will that have? In excess, therefore, less nitrogen. Very good. Oh, you don't understand. You're getting it, Gemma. But if 
you're diluting the HCl with water, you'll need more of it to react with the NaOH. Okay, let's let's do this. You dilute the HCl, therefore you need more. So how much is in excess? Less or more than what there should be? More. And that means we perceive the amount, if we perceive um, the NaOH in excess as more. Excellent. Yep. Excellent. So too low. Traces of fertiliser remain in the weighing bottle. So as in, we don't get all of this fertiliser out. This one should be dead simple. It's going to be considered low. Because you think you've moved it all, but you haven't. And that means you're not detecting some of it. Do errors sort of make sense now? And the titrate, I've rarely seen them ask an error of a back titration. That would be very harsh. And the state would go, 